So I bought this 18-year-old gaming laptop for only $10 on eBay. In 2006, it was the first generation of laptop with a dual processor. For the price of $3,000 adjusted for inflation, you got all these specs on this beast of a laptop. And it really is a beast. Just look at the size of this thing. A modern gaming laptop is five times thinner than it. And it's also just as heavy as it looks. So let's turn this thing on and see if it'll boot up to Windows. Alright, something is up with the hard drive. So let's go into BIOS, and it seems the version is on 2006. So the processor is a 1.7 GHz Core Duo, 2 GB of RAM, DDR2, graphics card with a 128 MB of VRAM, and a battery that is still operational and healthy. And that's really rare with these old laptops. Alright, so let's turn this thing off and replace the hard drive with a new SSD. So we'll just unscrew the holes and take out the hard drive. And if anybody is interested, this is the hard drive that we have. In a future video, I'll be upgrading this laptop to the max and seeing how well it can run Windows 11. Alright, we have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Obviously a classic from 2004, one of the best games of the 2000s. Let me just blow up this car here. And if you're interested, these are the graphics settings I have on this game. Everything is on the maximum that the laptop supports. I put anti-aliasing up to 2. And the game is running extremely smoothly, with no frame drops or lag or input delay. And I would say that the experience is really enjoyable. You know, I remember playing this game quite a lot on my old home computer when I was a kid. And I never really got far in the story mode because I would just use cheats and blow stuff up. And I guess I'm just doing the same sort of thing right now. And I always felt like the most fun part of sandbox games for me was doing things like that. So I would say the Inspiron 9400 does a really good job on this game. Alright, now we have Counter-Strike. Obviously a game that's really old by this point. Released in 2000. And I haven't played this game for a really, really long time, and I'm going against bots, so don't be too hard on me for playing really poorly. Uh, let me just try to get this guy. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm really bad right now. Movement is really smooth, getting a solid 100 FPS on this game. So everything on this game is running at max, and I'm getting a smooth 100 FPS. So this game is definitely really playable, just get better Counter-Strike skills than me. Okay, now we have Minecraft released in 2011. This is the 1.0 version of the game, and obviously Minecraft went on to become the highest selling game of all time. And we'll just make a creative mode so we can fly around and see how well it renders the terrain. Okay, that was pretty fast actually. So, okay, we can fly around. Things are rendering a little bit slowly. I put the render distance on pretty low, I think. Okay, some stutters here and there. Let's try blowing some stuff up. Okay, the game actually didn't lag when that stuff was blowing up, so that's actually really good. Let's just try that again with a little bit more. And yeah, the game is definitely pretty playable if it's able to render all that. There seems to be a slight distortion effect with the animals. We're gonna use the TNT to blow up a hole and see if we can find a cave. Okay, so overall I would say that the Inspiron 9400 is running Minecraft pretty well. It has a few, you know, stutters here and there, but it's definitely playable I would say. Alright, now we're using a Nintendo 64 emulator to run The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is obviously a really legendary game for that platform and in general. And it seems to be running really well, the intro cinematic is good. And sorry about the more effect on the screen, guys. That just happens to be a issue with filming on a phone. So let's get into the gameplay, which looks really good. Everything is running at the native resolution. There's no upsampling or anything else fancy going on. But it looks really good on the screen, actually. And everything is really smooth and responsive. And there's no weird graphical errors or things that sometimes happen with emulators. And I suppose uh, this is actually something that people back then did quite a lot. They emulated games from the 90s. 
And overall, it's a very good emulation of the game. Alright, now we have a legend of the MMO genre, World of Warcraft. This isn't official Blizzard servers if you know what I mean, just because I didn't want to get a subscription again, but the performance here should be somewhat similar to classic World of Warcraft. Alright, so let's create our character. We're gonna go for an orc warrior this time. And everything seems to be running really smoothly in terms of the intro cinematic. Alright, so the graphical settings that we have are gonna be everything on mostly the maximum that we can do. And it's running really smoothly. No glitches or anything. Or a frame drop. And yeah, I did play Classic WoW up until Wrath of the Lich King. And I don't think I actually reached max on that expansion, but I did on um, Burning Crusade. And yeah, I mean, obviously it was fun, but you just get bored of it by the end. But yeah, the performance on this Inspiron 9400 is really good. I actually wouldn't be that surprised if it can run retail WoW just on the very minimum of settings. But that wouldn't be a very enjoyable experience for anyone, I suppose. Alright, so now we have a Alliance Human Mage character, just to show you what it's like on the other side. And yeah, everything is running really smoothly. The spells are casting. There's no input delay. And yeah, this part may be a little bit redundant just because I showed what it was like on Horde, but yeah. Grand Theft Auto 4, released in 2008. Personally, this is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. So on the very minimum settings, this is how it's running. Something like 5 FPS or around there. And I wouldn't say it's playable, guys. It, it actually looks worse in real life than video, I think. What? Oh, okay, it actually just crashed. That's crazy. Okay, I know a lot of people are going to ask if it can run Crisis, so let's find out. It was released in 2007, and... Well, at least the intro, you know, cinematics are running pretty well. Okay, it's running at the very lowest settings that are like literally possible, so it's like a potato right now. But, I mean, it, it technically is running. I guess you could finish the game like this if you really want to torture yourself. And, you know what, I actually guess it's pretty impressive that this 128 megabyte uh, GPU is able to even run this game because isn't Crisis known as a really graphically intensive game? So... I guess it actually is kind of playable if you want to torture yourself, but I wouldn't recommend it, guys. Okay, now we have a DS emulator running Pokemon Platinum from 2008. I never actually played Platinum before. I did play Diamond and Pearl back in around 2006 or 7. I don't know when it was released, but around then when I was a kid. And so far, I think the intro is probably the same, and I'm actually running out of characters for my name. So we're just going to have to go with uh, Trendea, or I don't know how that would be pronounced, but <laughs> all right. All right, so the game is running smoothly, no weird graphical glitches or lags or input delay. And yeah, it's definitely really playable right now. And I would also say that the music, I mean, like the speakers on this Inspiro 9400 are actually way above average. I would say they're even better than the speakers on some modern laptops that I've used before, so... Can somebody who knows about audio tell me if that field has actually progressed that much in the last 18 years? Because I know that in the music industry, people are still using studio monitors from the 70s and stuff, so maybe that field hasn't progressed too much. But anyways, I'm having a battle with my rival, and... He keeps using that ability on his twerk twig that keeps, like, um, increasing his defense, yeah, withdraw. And it's making it really hard for me to actually do any damage to him. So I'll just try using Growl to, I don't know, like lower his attack. But I feel like uh, I already kind of messed up with this battle and I'm going to lose it or something. And yeah, I actually did end up losing this battle. And that's pretty sad because I never actually lost a rival battle in any of the games I've played before. So using this browser that they made for Windows XP called Supermium will be able to browse the internet and... It seems to be running pretty well, because I'm able to look at Google Images and all that stuff, although not really impressive. Uh, try getting that to work on Internet Explorer. So, it's actually pretty good. 
So guys, that's it for today's video. I will be uploading more frequently and making better quality content soon. Like the video, comment down below, and subscribe for more.